Okay, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative, and I'm here with the amazing Otavio Santana. And uh, somebody else? No, it's outside. it's him. It's him. oh he's, yeah, that's me. He's awesome. He's a Java champion. He's been involved in the JCP uh, for a long time. He's involved in the JCP uh, Executive Committee, and yeah, he has a lot to to share with us. He's, he's also a senior developer for a long time, so uh, he's one of the elite developers in the world. Oh, come so, on. <laughs> uh, so let's, let's hear what he has to say. So, yeah. To meet you again, not see yeah. you again, a pleasure to be here with you. What, what I talk about bugs and a few less bugs in the project, and finally talk about what, what is a senior developer, right? Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, it's exactly what we are going to talk, Otavio. Oh. And uh, we are going to uh, specify what are the three core skills that you think um, that um, a senior developer has to have. Okay, the first one, from my perspective, is the love to technology. Okay. What, what I mean about that? Basically, keep moving studying, read blogs, write blogs, share your knowledge, share your passion about technology. Okay. Uh, you know, new technologies come in, share the technology to new people, to show, share your, what you know, what you love. Okay. That's really important to you, to me, and to everybody. It because is. Because you, you learn, you show uh, the, how you're learning, the process, the process to learn, and more people learn from you, so that's a win-win process. It is. And also yes. you gain a lot of visibility in the world. Yes, plus visibility. Yeah. A lot of people who is happy with you because, come on, thank you for the blog post. I learned a lot, a lot exactly. about that blog post. Yeah. Exactly. So you give it back to the community as well. Yes, that's the number one. Okay. The number two, from my perspective, is... Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Never give up about your dreams. Okay. So sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's difficult. We need to find time. We need to define time to learn. And my tip about that is try to do every single day. I mean, I'd like to learn Italian. Okay, let's do it 20 minutes every day. Perfect. And don't wait like, okay, let's start on Monday. No, no, let's start today doing 20 20 minutes and tomorrow more 20 minutes and one day for tomorrow 20 minutes okay and just keep moving uh, I know social media is amazing try to don't waste a lot of time on that stuff okay uh, use your time to learn use your time to do interaction for with more people yeah in IT area in another area so that's important to you understand okay. that is use and immeasurable that you need to learn and also measure your time okay to do try to do that every day like a gym right like a gym yes, yes because think about it okay i'd like to get fit okay let's do it one time in the year <laughs> it won't matter it won't matter so we need to do like daily to start running one kilometer and then two and three until ten Perfect. twelve something like that the secret is do every day what you like to do and never give up. Perfect. When it starts, it's gonna be hard. Yeah. But yeah, we, we're gonna improve every day. Yeah, we can use this principle for learning new technologies because there are so many nowadays. There are, uh, I mean, every software is going to the cloud nowadays and we have yes. to learn AWS, we have to learn Docker, Kubernetes, uh, Terraform, I don't know, many, many things depending on the company we're working on, there are many new technologies. And this uh, technique that Otavio just told us is very useful because if we think that we're gonna learn those technologies in one day, we are really, really wrong because they're huge platforms. It takes time. So by using this technique of studying 20 minutes, just a, a bit, tiny bit, every day, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, you can do that with open source, I want to help an open source project. If you do like every day 10 minutes, think about 
what happened when you take like one year is 20 minutes times 300 something yeah there's a too much time to help yeah it's a lot of time yeah that's my point so never give up and do it every day perfect and what's the third main principle that you think it's important yeah, for senior okay, developers okay let's see again the first one is share my knowledge share knowledge perfect the second one is never give up and make better your time okay and the third one the last one and to me is the more important one and always be be cool to everyone that's really good you need to be ready to learn from everyone even a guy who looks okay this guy started today so be ready to learn for that yeah be ready to listen for that yeah you always need to understand that you never know enough you need to be ready to learn every time for everyone and also again to the first tip share your knowledge because when you share your knowledge you learn twice okay so be nice with people from social media yeah there is no stupid question so answer that question to the guy exactly um, help more people to engage yeah uh, be ready to help be ready to listen be ready to learn and 10 years doesn't mean anything if you don't learn anything new every day yeah it's highly important what you said be good to everyone that's really important because yes. I believe that uh, the greatest the, the greatest hack in life is people yes because every day we deal with people if exactly. in, in, in the company we work for we need someone else to approve you right so you're exactly. dealing with people if or what if, if you have your business you have gonna have to sell your product to people so people yes. it's the biggest hack on your life so exactly so have create real connections create friends real friends yeah. and and remember that just a senior can make another senior exactly so you need to be cool to everyone you need to keep that junior guy who started today to make a so expert guy so a senior developer is also a technical leader to put the product to put everyone else in the right di direction exactly a senior is a leader as well yeah senior is a leader on which helps the the team to make to do their best exactly perfect and Otavio uh, tell us what do you think uh, it's the most important principle for uh, having fewer bugs okay that's a good question my first one is test test cover with several tests use good practice like single responsibility okay use the solid principle okay um, documentation is important too okay read a, a, a lot of books about good perspective of code like clean code clean architecture effective java okay use design partners as well yeah one important thing is understand the goal to design partner okay don't put just because you like to learn design partner uh, I always try to do the most simple way to make things. Okay. So like I have one class, one interface. Maybe that's not make sense. Yeah. But just one class. Okay. So keep it simple always. Okay. And that's my tip. So okay. Cover tests, good practice, and keep it simple as possible. Perfect. Okay. So let's just recap. So Otavio told here that for being a senior developer, it's important to be to, to share your knowledge. It's important to uh, study a subject uh, just a few minutes a day, never give up because new technologies are hard sometimes and we have to be persistent. Yes. And the third was about... Be nice with everyone be nice. and be ready to learn from everyone. Be nice with people and be ready to learn from everyone. Have You can have the beginner's mindset. Yes. It's, it's, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't mean that you, you don't know. It means that you are humble enough to keep on learning because even the the guy that knows the best in the world, he doesn't know everything. No one knows everything. Yeah. So and if you have the beginner's mindset, you're gonna be able to learn more, and you'll never be uh, the smart. guy who everybody likes to ignore, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible because if you not take the direction, some uh, somebody else is gonna do to you. 
exactly. And it's a little sad to see a senior put behind. Okay, this guy is yeah. away. Don't care about him. Yeah. Just give some code and yeah. don't care about his suggestion. So it's exactly. bad. So. Yeah. And by having this mindset, you're gonna create respect. Yeah. Everyone will respect you because you have you are humble enough. You are not insecure to say, okay, so how can I learn that? Yeah. It means that you are humble and you are secure on your skills. And remember, one day you fix some mistake from somebody else, and another day somebody else is going to fix your mistake. Exactly. Because people who make mistakes is a, is a people who make something. Exactly. Yeah. Totally agree with you. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's just one way to don't make mistake is when you decide to do nothing. So. Exactly. When you do nothing, you don't, don't make mistakes. Yeah, that's, exactly. That's the thing. And when you do mistake, you learn. Exactly. I mean, a senior developer is a guy who made a lot of mistakes in your life. Exactly. And learn from that. Yeah. And for sure, learn from somebody else mistakes. Exactly. If you think about good practice, what design partners? It's basically the best way to do something. If there's a good way to do something. That means somebody else did the best, the worst way to do something and create that to yeah. avoid to put in the right direction. Yes. Okay. So uh, thank you very much, Otavio. It was an amazing interview. A lot of good content. And my pleasure. And it, it is an honor to have you in the Java Challengers Initiative. Okay, my yeah. pleasure. Java developers Always. will learn a lot with you. Okay. I hope to see you, Rafael, in December. Yeah, we wait to you there for sure. Sure. Yeah, we wait to you uh, at Dubjug. And, and also it, online. And with online. Snow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Otavio, and follow Otavio because he's a great reference in the Java community. And if you follow him, we're gonna learn a lot with him. And okay. one other extra tip I give you is to get involved in Java user groups. Because yeah. that way, you're gonna boost your career and you're gonna learn a lot with uh, reference, top reference, with uh, like Otavio. Okay. okay. See you guys. Okay, so see you guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye.